What? What? Dream sequence time? Yeah, we're in dream sequence time. Shit. Chloe Price, you're about I to die. That day. says die, not dip. Maybe I shouldn't write the fr what? frightening shit. What the hell? <laughs> Frank's gonna kill us. It's a warning. Oh, that's... That's dad. That's dear old dad. I'm calling it now. I mean, with a crow hanging out. I have no idea what that fire is related to because I wasn't there when it started. Nope, not even close to it. Not even a little bit. And that's probably dear old dad's car. As he's roasting marshmallows over dad? his burning corpse. Ghost dad burning burning marshmallows on on zombie dad. A lot, lot of a lot of bad. Hello, crow friend. What you doing? Um, well, let's start by looking at the fire. I wonder if it burned like this the day, the day it happened. Yeah, uh, let's take the stick. Maybe he'll give me a marshmallow. I'm having a, I could use a marshmallow kind of day. Hi, Ghost Dad. Dad. What are we doing here? Oh, you're gonna share with the crow? That's awfully nice of you. Um. Hi, Ghost. I miss him so much. Hey, hey, Dad. I wonder if. Uh, it, oops, sorry it about that. Like this, the day. The day. It happened. Well, let's try. That's all I got, so let's try to speak to him again. Uh, are you trying to tell me something? You could use your words if you are. Dad? What's <laughs> up? So, I'm not talking to you, bird. I'm trying to talk Dad? to Dad. Okay, not a problem. Let's try to look at it again. I miss him so much. I don't know what's going on right now. Oh, well. I did not see the marshmallows there. Might as well get a marshmallow and have a marshmallow. Because roasted marshmallows always brightens the day. Unlike a raging inferno of a fire. Well, that really brightens the day. That brightens it a little too much. Oh, well, let's... Do I even like marshmallows? Honestly, I don't like marshmallows, but that's not the point. Sometimes you don't eat soul food for it to taste good, just for the feeling. Sometimes you need to eat feeling foods. Either to bring them up, or eat a lot of food and push them down. Goodbye feelings, just like my dad. And a <laughs> we didn't have to go to this place. There's there's a nice fire to right over there that we could roast marshmallows on. Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Okay, creepy dad. Sure. You're promoted from ghost dad to creep Don't dad. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized. Sorry about too. that. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? He's warning Fire you. Fire blinds You're... us. Just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence. With loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. Okay. But sometimes there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm scared of shit, but I'm just gonna agree Fire with you. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Um. Careful of what? Don't ask questions that you don't want answers to. <gasps> I saw that. I saw that. Of getting burned. Um. Oh, it's a crow. Stop pecking up my dad's face. zombie dad all along. That's the twist in my Shyamalan style. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Yeah, it's about to dip. I'm a such an idiot. You could start a fire. Oh, I see what you did there. They really like driving so, multiple points home at once. Or what? Um, of course. I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, is that a bag so we can run away forever? Because that's a good idea. No, seriously, guys. We know how this is going to end. This is a great idea. Damn. You've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. Uh, pirate flag? Of course, come on now. A freaky red light? Yeah. That is dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. Good job. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. Uh, yeah. <sighs> That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also going to need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. For you, Rachel's still got <laughs> to worry about that. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. Don't, don't be sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. Oh, I totally saw that shit coming. No reason to prolong the inevitable. See, me and me and Chloe are on the right it's page. Definitely Blackwell's loss. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. I would say that At is his true statement in general really all around. With us last night, shit got pretty wild. Yep. Us? Last I checked, you're the one who went all puff the manic dragon tree <laughs> last night. What were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't accomplice sound way cooler than accessory after the fact? <laughs> is Heck. that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice it is. <sighs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. <laughs> she called him a penis potato, a morning. dictator. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Right? Therapy. Yeah. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. <laughs> tell me about your mother. Well, Doc. <laughs> this is adorable. Um, let's start with the big There's one. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he. he I can't, can't call him a fucking. He's moving in. With penis us. potato, a dictator. How do I stop him? Hmm, that's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? 
Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. Viva la resistance! All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? Um... I don't, I'm not a big fan of Step Douche. Step Fuck is kind of more of mine, but I feel Step Dick is more he's of a Chloe. He's a, a Step Dick. Because he's overly sensitive and he thinks he's way more important than he is. Also, he's a dick. <laughs> poetic. I was going to say poetic too. Step Ladder? Why Step Ladder? Because. He climbs on your mom every night. Oh! And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. Right? Damn, girl. Um, let's talk about Blackwell. I've let's get it all off the from table. School, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean, how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. <laughs> we know I that's not my true. I therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> right? <laughs> Touché, Doc. All right, onto the fire. So my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, Smart. sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Someone who is also, may I add, a knockout in the looks department. All flirty flirty. Perhaps this friend of yours, who I reiterate must be just stunning, <laughs> needed someone in her life to teach her. How to steal wine from yuppie picnickers. Right. How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That makes sense. Right. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. <laughs> you may want to turn around at some point. Turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Yeah. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? <laughs> This was your idea. Of course. Um, let's talk about Wells. Hey, you ever try picturing what Principal Wells does when he's not at school? I see, like, a bed covered in teddy bears, and he's tying a little necktie around each one. Oh, that's adorable. That's weird. No, it's adorable. Shut up. I'm a weirdo. Yeah. Chloe's totally my daughter. I have Amanda from De Amanda and Chloe, from uh, Amanda from Dream Daddy. Do you that's think that's my that's my kids. A point when you've been acting so much, we don't even have your We're not a normal family. Anymore. You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. Oh, whoops. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells's office. The whole thing is a performance. Yeah. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You're not like him. You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Oh, it's the truth. Again, little, little, little opinion. Shit. It's time for the play. Oh. As if my life didn't have enough drama. We can make it. Good luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. Whoops. How is telling someone good luck bad luck? You're supposed to say, break a leg. 
That's dumb. <laughs> hey. Macbeth. Macbeth, motherfuckers. That after the show, maybe we could go do something. That's right. Just. That's me. why I told Elliot something no. Something criminal. Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Get out of here, Rachel. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. <laughs> she, did she just clean. finger? Pew, pew, pew. She finger gunned. I love it. These two are so adorable. I love them the most. They're. Th oh, every time I go, ah, I fucking have all the feels, and they're great kids, and blah blah blah. I'm gonna. I die a little inside. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot. You could turn this into a nice home. Yeah. Oh. Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. All right. Time. Well, first let's uh check out message from Mikey. Um, boop, boop, boop. Sorry about Drew. Not your fault. My brother's not always an asshole. Forget it. Ack, I heard you got expelled. Ah, there it is. Ack! Ack, 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 ack. I heard you got expelled. Sorry. Yeah, I rolled a one against Wells. Get it? <laughs> nerd. Uh, Steph says you're a nerd. See? Steph's another one I love. Okay. So, oh, well, we gotta check out the sign real quick. Well, before we fix this place up, that... You never let a, a mystery go unspoiled, so I hate I hate letting mysteries throw out, and I hit cliffhanger. So this place is the shit. It's like my junk fortress of solitude. All right, no more cliff. Yeah, 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 yeah. No more cliffhangers. Let's open the bag. 